Adam Shakol Nyebidvaro. When we speak of Pesach, who are the heroes of Pesach? I think two characters are in the forefront, of course. Pharaoh, the one who enslaved the Jews, because he enslaved the Jews, also enslaved the Egyptians, by the way. Not only the Jews. When he ordered that the firstborn, that the males, that all the males be thrown into the Nile, he included the Egyptian males as well. You know, for a despot, you know, to kill children doesn't mean much. And who is the Jewish hero? It's Moshe, of course. So you have two main characters, Pharaoh and Moses. You know, Moses is usually accompanied by Aaron, but you see these meetings that take place at all times. Moshe comes before Pharaoh and tells him, let my people go. He comes many a time, plagues Moshe. Pharaoh says, no, God hardens it. Those are the two heroes. I want to argue there are other heroes in Pesach also. You know who they are? I want to say, first of all, that our ancestors, the slaves, they're the heroes of Pesach. They are the ones that suffered. I don't think we give them sufficient prominence. You know what it is to be enslaved, to have to work and not to see anything out of your work, to have to get up at a time when somebody else tells you, seven days a week, without any, any kind of rest. You know what that means, what that does to the spirit of the person of his self-appreciation, what that does, what it does to his family, slave families. I think the slaves are really the heroes of Pesach. And this is the way the Haggadah starts. Avadim hayinu lefarobe mitzrayim. The first word of the Haggadah is avadim, because we have to recognize that the slaves are really the heroes of Pesach, and they were liberated. I think another group are the women. You know, women in many a culture don't play an important role. But if, when it comes to Judaism, especially during this period of slavery in Egypt, they were prominent. They are the ones that disobeyed the orders of the king, including the daughter of Pharaoh. They are the heroines of Pesach. And I mentioned uh, at another opportunity already that Araf Soloveitchik thinks that during the period of slavery, the leadership of the Jewish people was in the hands, really, of women because they were in the forefront. They disobeyed. You know what it means to disobey the rule of a king who, with the signal of his hand, can have you hung, can have you decapitated? It took a lot of courage. They were really the heroes. And you know who else were the heroes of Pesach? I think the children. You know, the entire Haggadah is really based around the children. You have four questions that the children have to ask. You think of four different types of young people that can be present at your Seder. Chacham, Rasha, Tam, She'ino, Yodea, Lishol. The intelligent one, the bad one, the one that is simple, the one that can't even ask a question, a very important lesson. Because they all suffered equally. In Egypt, Pharaoh didn't ask, are you smart? If you're smart, you're going to death. No, all the children had to be eliminated so that they are really the heroes of Pesach and the entire holiday is somehow directed to them. So I think that we have to rethink a little bit. I don't want to minimize the roles, of course, that Moshe and Pharaoh play in the entire story of Pesach. But let us not forget the slaves who were really under the rest. Let us not forget the courage of the Jewish woman. And above all, let us not forget that Pharaoh wanted to eliminate a future for the Jewish people. That is why all his orders were about the children. He did not kill the men. He wanted the fruits of their labor, but he directed his ire against the children because he thought these people should have no future. Well, where is Pharaoh today? Pharaoh today is lying in a mausoleum. He is lying buried under an enormous construction, a pyramid, so he shouldn't be able to escape. He is there forever. He is rotting there forever. But the Jewish people have returned to their land. They went out of Egypt, went through Mount Sinai, received the law, and the Jewish children, the Jewish women, the Jewish male, they all conquered the land and created nowadays the flourishing Jewish state 
pride for the Jewish people and should be a pride, source of pride for all of humanity. Thank you.